so I got Artem in town getting prepped for the senior year, right? Time's moving fast. Yeah, I can't believe it actually. Um, <laughs> when's your first event? Do you have it? Is there a... Yeah, it's September 14th. Okay, so, so a week after. Artem's been here about a week now, a little under a week, so we've been doing a fair amount of work. So let's do a little rundown. So we started with 3D. Um, lots of good things going on. So last year, scoring average 73.9. Seven. 73.7. 7. First year, 73.1. Okay, so our goal this year is to be 72. Okay, so that's the goal. So we got, we do some stat tracking for that. Um, you know, we get our, our practice plan. We stay on top of the body stuff. He's got a lot of uh, school responsibilities too this year. So he's got a lot going on. So we got to be smart and uh, efficient with what we're working on. So our goal this year is to stay on the same theme as much as yeah. golf changes. But I feel like last year we were having to work on too many different things, right? Yeah. There's a lot of moving components that we're just moving for no reason. Yeah. So Artem Swing always looks good. Um, but we're working on the functionality of it too. So meaning like he, he, he's very uh, he, perfectionist, right? You like I to have, <laughs> yeah. So he likes things to be perfect. And I, I mean, in golf, you got to be pretty, pretty perfect if you want to get a lot out of your game. So um, when we went through, so let's do the, let's go through the easy things first. So, and this is like with good college players or pros, sometimes it happens. We did ball position, we did face at address, we did posture, we did tilts at address. So like a, a lot of that is the small stuff that we, if we're not checking those boxes, the fancy stuff or the stuff that's harder, um, it just becomes a lot more work and not really sustainable, you know? So that's one thing I think was really big this yeah, week, right? Absolutely. Um, it, like I call it like recalibrating. So we recalibrated his setup from the, like face position all the way up to to uh, your posture. So yeah. let's um, let's hit a couple. So we got the stick here. The Artem's tendency was club was sneaking inside early, right? Cut across with an open face. Yeah. So the face was starting open with the ball back. So his miss was push fade, um, which was making it hard for him to score. So ball position looks good there. I'll just take a face on here so I can put that in the video. Uh, I'm really trying to make sure that I'm not this way too much. Yes. Which is uh, another calibration that I had to do. Yeah, so his, his, his right bend was getting a little high with the dress. Yeah, it was too, and then what were you, actually this is interesting too, because you kept saying, oh my grip feels this way. Because visually, so do your tilt now. So visually that changed his eye position yeah. so much that it made his grip feel different. Very strong. Right, so then, Sometimes the feel isn't real, obviously. Uh, so I think that was that was big too, you know? Because we looked at the grip, it's not the grip, it was more the vision. I think most golfers would be surprised how vision impacts. Oh, it's massive, man, massive. But yeah, I agree. Try not to shadow you here. We have some other practice protocols that we're doing too, but right now we're just going through the, you know, his main keys with the stick. Yeah, feel it feels like he's going under, or over and then under. While being wide here. Yeah, trying to give him more width, more space, more time. I don't think Trackman likes that stick in there, but let's see a couple more, let's see. No, it's fine. How's the setup? It's great. What what you so actually the down the line so go to where you were so we're Pitfall. he likes to be a little far yeah. right so <laughs> when you get too far the club definitely is going to want so if I get way away right obviously that's going to make the club want to come inside he was a little far and a little on his heel so it really incentivized the club to get too far under and in uh, so we, now we got him closer standing a little taller he felt like he felt you know that his pressure was getting almost to here even though it wasn't and you got treated we got to see dr brendan mclaughlin from the vault on what day was that thursday um friday on friday and brendan um 
couple, what was the main takeaways from, from Brandon? Um, main takeaways from Brandon was that, well, my internal hip range was... On uh, which side? Both or right? Both sides. Both sides were tight. Yeah, but that's because it was just the summer. I yeah. Was going. Um, and then, it's primarily it. We also, uh, the very important thing is that my right lat was really tight. Okay. That's why I was essentially bunched all the way to the right side. I couldn't turn. Yeah. Hang on, let me video that. So, show me what, so your right side, your right lat. My right lat is very uh, tight. Yeah. And uh, essentially, my entire pelvis and upper body is still to this way. Yeah. So I'm very stacked on the right side, so that way I can't really turn when I'm here. Yeah. But when I actually, this is overdoing my normal position. Yeah. This way, I can actually turn a lot. Okay. So, so that freed you up. We just did a lot of, well, he massaged the crap out of my lat. Yeah. Did he do any uh, acupuncture or just uh, manual? No. Uh, no acupuncture. I think I was slightly too uh, fragile in that sense. Okay. Um, but um, he did give me a lot of exercises that I've been doing. So. Okay, sweet. Yeah, let's see a couple more. That look, that was cool though. I missed that part. I saw the hips. I didn't see the. Yeah. yeah. Poof, big, really different there. What it was the change? Oh, it's just better takeaway. I retracted my right shoulder a little bit more. Yeah. Rather than the other one was just like. Felt like it was out of control there? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna put the ball in. No, go ahead. I still need to feel, uh, the one thing that I was talking about, the wrist. Yeah. Feeling, sometimes it feels just in my head. I have no idea if it looks the same way, but it looks like, um, feels like it's like this. Yeah. And then from here, I, I have the opportunity to like open the face more. This is what the top was, just so you can see it. That's pretty nice. Yeah, <laughs> pretty good, yeah. <laughs> but that's okay. I mean, that's it's important if you sent something to just confirm it or yeah. know for sure. But the ball kind of helps. Yeah. Oh, your uh, pocket's out there. Got to look good here. <laughs> Let's see a couple more and then I'll get some face on. Yeah, not bad. Maybe a little drop. That was another thing that we pay attention. I mean, maybe a little. You touched the ground a bit more, right? Yeah, it did. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Face was neutral. This it, the stick's not liking the data, but I can get. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. I'll see if I move it. I'll try to move it a little. See if we can get some. I think it's literally just. I'll just go right there. It should get it. Yeah, you're good. Ball position was okay too. Yeah, it's great, man. Ball fell. Ball fell. Path one left, four down, four point nine down. Well, that one really Got it. The one-handed finish? Yeah. You see, that, those two are the epitome of what it, like... What about the, the wrist-wise? Okay, yeah. let's see another one. It just feels like my face here is so shut. Okay. That I have to do something about it at the top, whether it's like, not at the top so much, but almost in transition. Like it feels like it's like this. And then from this point. Go back to the start. Oh, that looks fine. Spine looks okay. Oh, you can do this a little bit more with the weight. You feel it? Yeah. Just a little. What is, what that? I, um, remember how the, remember how we needed a little more pressure on your lead foot? Yeah. Yeah, you just had a little bit more on the trail side. Like you're, so I was doing just a little bit, yeah, like it was like that. Yeah, okay. I just want to so see if that changes. That yeah, that's great. Right. Okay. 
I just missed it. One more. Man, Florida heat, everything is slipping. I know. <laughs> it's a touch light on the down. Touch light. Like this? Yeah, man. That's close to the sound we want, eh? Yeah. Maybe. Your stick's aimed just a little right, too, bud. Okay. Is there a chance that it could be something to do with how my left shoulder's going through the impact? Because I also feel almost as if I'm doing this. Do some wide, uh, do some Fleetwoods. Yeah, perfect. Is that ball too too deflated? Yeah. <laughs> Keeps falling out. Check the small boxes. Yeah. Still feels like it. In the finish? Yeah, like my left arm is like Let's see it again. Can you extend it more? Huh? Can you extend it more out here? Yeah, yeah. yeah a little more. You feel it? Yeah. Uh, this as it feel. Oh, right <laughs> <on>. Yeah. Because <clears throat> if that's stretched out, that should change the left hand feel. That's what we're sort of doing the first day, you know? Yeah. Nice. Maybe it's just like... Close. Late drop. Late, yeah. I just want to know how much the attack was. Seven down, yeah, makes sense. What is that? Seven to down. Attack. Seven down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that means it was late, right? <laughs> We're talking about like late meaning for Artem and some good players. As he transitions, he, he's so good at loading the club that it, it ends up getting a little narrow and a little steep. And then that for his miss, that's not, it's just gonna make it go more right, which he hates that feeling, so. Yeah. That's the exaggerated feel, perfect. Yeah. And then that's the one we want to bottle. That's actually amazing. It, amazing, yeah, amazing. I actually feel like it's so early. So yeah, he's feeling like he's throwing that thing behind the camera here. Oh, I actually can. Yeah, I mean that's that was the one. Yeah. Yeah. You got it. Bye.